Hello, welcome or welcome back to my videos. I'm Klepek and today I will be drawing three people's characters. So I originally went to post a forum on Toy House asking if anybody would let me draw their characters and three, these three people said I could, so that's what I did. So this first speed paint is of Kaina. I really enjoy drawing Kaina. I, like, I love their design. I love their little fish too, that's like next to them. Um, and I also really love their color palette. And I'm also sorry because I forgot to record the sketch. Um, I'm new to Clip Studio Paint, so I keep forgetting you have to actually like manually turn on time lapse. So the reason I'm doing these characters, like the reason I'm doing this video and all the characters is because I'm really unhappy with my art style right now. I feel like while the 100 heads challenge I'm doing is improving my art, it's also making it much more bland. Like I'm not going to say my art is like top tier god realistic now, but like I feel like I've been focusing way more on like realistic proportions rather than um, stylization and I, I do want to have realistic proportions and like realistic faces but I also want to have like really like big elements of stylization so that's what I've been trying to do I've been like with these characters I've been trying to find the balance between stylization and like anatomically anatomically correct um proportions and stuff so i'm mainly focusing on stylization in the hair the eyes and the way i'm coloring and rendering so like with the sketch i think the sketch looks very anatomically correct in terms of my skill base i'm not saying i'm i'm like the best because i have a long way to go i'm only on like head 50 um but I'm trying to like improve my rendering and making that more stylized. Um, with the hair, I feel like after this drawing, I'm kind of getting an understanding of it. Um, but I feel like there is much more I can do to improve um, the hair I draw now versus the hair I want to be able to render and stuff. So I think with the second character, I'll be able to render it much better. I also, I also really struggled with the eyes. Like you can see in the speed paint, how many times I had to go over and try to like fix the eyes to get them to be the style I wanted. So I really struggled with that. But like the end result, I think the end result is really good. I like the end result. So yeah, that's this speed paint. Thank you so much, Honey Pie, for letting me draw your character. Um, their username and toy house is on the screen and also linked in the description. And here is the finished drawing. This is the second character I'll be drawing in this video. Um, his name is Azai, and he is a demon from the Lustring. He's mainly an assassin, and the mask he wears is to scare his victims when he's going to kill them. Um, he has a fascination with bones and skulls, specifically right now um, it says he has a fascination of bird skulls, so I wanted to draw him like examining a bird's skull. So yeah, I really like how his mask turned out, so that's the positive thing of this drawing, and now for the negatives. Um, so in the last drawing, I was talking about how I was trying to focus on stylization of hair and I failed. <laughs> I failed in this because I think I know the reason and it's because I made the sketch of the hair too detailed. Like I was trying to map it out, but I think I should have left it alone and left it to be more vague. So when I painted over it, I wasn't like restricted by the sketch and I think I also made the strands of the hair too thin like in the I think I think the sketch also affected that because when I was sketching it I made the strands of hair thinner than what I'm trying to go for so I think the sketch and the strands of hair being too thin is what's making me not able to achieve 
the kind of style that I want for hair. So hopefully, hopefully in the next drawing, I'll be able to get it right. Honestly, so um, on the discussion, the person who sent me this character sent me a folder of characters and I was going through the characters and I was like, they're all so cool. I don't know who to choose, but I did end up choosing him because um, I thought his hair would be good to draw versus the others. So that's why I chose him, but all of their characters were so cool. With that, the second drawing is done. Thank you so much, Soon, for letting me draw your character. Here's how it turned out. Okay, this is the last drawing for this video. So, with this drawing, I figured out what I've been doing wrong. I took a little break between the second drawing and this drawing. And I figured everything out. I know what I've been doing wrong. I was completely wrong in what I was saying in the second part of this video, or the second drawing of this video, where I was saying stuff like, I need less lines and I need less detail. No, I need more detail and I need more understanding of hair. Like, before i was kind of just drawing lines where i thought they should go but with this drawing i like genuinely thought about the hair and how i thought it should work so i drew for the sketch i drew way more lines than i've been drawing for hair like way more strands of hair but i wasn't making them too thin and i was like giving them space and stuff so once i was done with the sketch I went in and I blocked in the basic shadows of the hair, which kind of took a while, but it was so worth it. And then when I blocked out the basic shadows, I went in and I kind of like refined them. I added like darker shades and lighter shades and like mixed them together a little. And then after that with the hair, I went on a top top layer. I think this is what rendering is supposed to be, where you go on like above the line art i mean rendering can be whatever it is but i think like the technical term would be like going on the topmost layer and like refining it so i did a lot of refining with this and i just kept adding more shadows and like deepening the shadows and adding different colors like i added a lot of purple and pink even though the hair is just green and i even added red in some parts and so i think what I've been missing is I was kind of just trying to do everything at once like I was trying to render the whole thing at once piece by piece instead of putting the base shadows down first and then going in and doing the rendering so I was kind of like rushing into it and just trying to expect results but that's not how this works apparently so with this version I'm really happy and I'm so glad that I found out what my problem is. So now I'm kind of happy with my art style. So thank you so much Cassiopeia and the creator of this character for helping me find my art style. Thank you so much She's a Hex for letting me draw your character. The results are on screen and their username as well and their link to their toy house is in the description below. Thank you. And with that, that is the end of the video. The three drawings I did are up on screen now with the creator's credits, of course. They'll be linked below too to their toy houses. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. If you like the video, you should definitely consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.